Being bed bound sucks ass. Worst feeling in the world when you are struck down by a cold, by a sore head, by a sore throat and just an achy body. Especially when you want to train and you know you can't train. This week we're going to dive into training when you're sick. Should you train when you're sick? All the questions that people always have when they feel like they're unwell so they're falling off track and how you can actually stay on track when you're unwell if you want to or you can just relax and let your body recover which is exactly what I've done this week. I've taken the foot right off the gas for about four or five days and I now feel much better. So let's get into it. Now if you get like a 24 hour bug, chances are you're not going to be able to get back in the gym for at least three, maybe even four days. It really sucks ass. I hate it. And in the past I've always thought, do you know what, I'll be fine, I'll just go back in and train. And then I do a session and I end up feeling like death warmed up. When you're sick, there is so much stress on your body that you literally need to rest. So this past week, rather than train on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I stepped out of the gym and I put my food up. So I had been eating 1800 calories a day and instead of eating 1800 calories a day, I put myself up to between two, two and two, three a day for three full rest days. Now, because I'd done that for those three full rest days, it meant that by Saturday, by the time I was feeling better, I physically had more energy and my body had recovered. The cold was way, way better and I was able to go on and absolutely smash out a really good session. One of the things I hear all the time is sweat it out when you're sick. Sweat it out doesn't work. It's one of the most ridiculous things I think I've actually heard because literally all you're doing is dehydrating your body when it's sick. Maybe someone somewhere has done this and it's worked, but 99.9% .9 of the time, 24 hours later, you're just gonna feel like absolute shit. You're just gonna end up more sick. Like people just don't seem to grasp this concept of when you're sick rest because they think that by taking three days off of their goal that they're going to lose all progress and lose all gains and they're just going to become catabolic. You're not going to become catabolic in three days, okay? No, that's just ridiculous. You'll come back stronger, fitter and see way more progress and you might actually make some gains. Rather than persevering when you feel like shit and making no progress, putting yourself back further, ending up like bed bound for a week, two weeks plus. Like honestly, I've heard some of the most ridiculous things ever. If you're sick, you just gotta learn to rest. So if you've rested, how do you know when to come back, right? As a golden rule, if you've woken up and you feel good and you're ready to train and you wait 24 more hours, you're definitely going to be better and you're definitely going to be ready to get back into that session. Uh, no more than 45 minutes, no more than 45 minutes. And if that really easy session feels hard, then stop. Like get your ass out of the gym and just go rest more. But you have to be able to determine yourself. Is it hard because you're pushing your body too hard? Is it hard because you're still physically exhausted and you still haven't recovered from the bug, the flu, the whatever was going on? Make sure you are taking your vitamins, make sure you're filling your body up with good veggies, lots of colour, lots of water, and you're staying hydrated and getting all those perfect nutrients in so that you can start to help with recovery and start to help build that immune system back up so that you don't get sick again. If you're genuinely serious about achieving your longer term goals and you really want to see good progress, then take the foot off the gas, let your body do its thing, because you're not really in control of it at that point. Let it see it through and then start easy going back in and don't do idiotic things that are just gonna escalate the situation and make it 100 times worse. When you're sick, that's your body telling you you've done too much, you gotta pull back. And if you don't pull back and listen, it'll just escalate. And the more it escalates, then the worse position you're gonna be. Even though I up my food this week, so I've then done my progress check-in on the Sunday morning and take a look.
condition still looks really good. Sure, I'm a little bit inflamed, but that's purely because A, a little bit more food, and B, I've been fighting a bug of some sorts. The weight has absolutely stayed the same. It rose for a couple of days and then dropped back down again. And by Sunday morning, it was back to my 67.1 kg. Uh, considering, yes, I am 15 weeks out from WBFF. So the show is on May 27th. And we're going to be going to the O2 in London again this year. So that'll be a full year since I stepped on stage last year. And we are hoping we have made some serious gains. I mean, you can't make that serious gains in a year when you're natural. But... I'm hoping I made some gains, right? And yeah, I'm super excited. We started working with a new coach and I can't wait to see what he does to mix up my training, mix up my nutrition and help me really bring the absolute best package in 15 weeks. And this is why I wanted to do this episode this week. I don't want it to seem like I don't practice what I preach and I have got that 15 week marker on and if you followed my prep last year you'll know just how difficult it can get to try and lose that body fat in those final stages. The leaner you get the harder it is to lose that body fat and for me health has got to be the primary concern and for me the biggest thing is right now I'm 15 weeks out I'm not being well so I have to take the foot off the gas and I have to do everything within my own means to make my body better. Like, and that's with that pressing goal and that pressing deadline and needing to be in the best condition of my life in 15 weeks time. I know that if I continue to train when I was sick, I would just set myself back further. As a normal person trying to achieve an ideal body composition or a body transformation, health has to be the primary concern. So often health is forgotten about and people just go, go, go because they've got their eyes on this end prize. And if you're not healthy, then you're not going to feel good and if you don't feel good you're not going to perform good and if you're not performing good then what is the actual point like it's all about how you look how you think how you feel right but i see all these things because they merge together into one so as always thank you so so much for tuning in um this week has been almost, almost to run let's face it but it had to be said because, yeah, people are not taking being sick very serious and everybody thinks they can train through sickness and you can't train through sickness. Just hands up, sit back down, you'll be fine. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to start prep. So we've got 15 weeks now until we step on stage and I'm really excited to see what condition I can bring. I'm definitely going to blow last year out of the park, that is for sure. And I hope you guys have had fun. I'll be back next week, same time, and take care. Have a fantastic week. Bye, lovelies. <laughs>